that you could catch Sebastian every now and then? I did, um, particularly the first stint. You know, I thought um, I saw him take off, you know, and break that DRS in the first few laps, and he probably broke it by too much, you know, and I knew he was going to suffer at the end of the stint. And just as he started to suffer and I was able to, you know, keep, keep my pace, um, you know, the, the pit window was getting closer and we we're like, okay, we're probably within a few laps of trying maybe an aggressive undercut and then trying to go for the lead with, uh, through pit stops. Um, and I was like, my eyes were lighting up thinking it's, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And then I saw on one of the screens a Force India in the, in the tyres or in the wall and I was like, oh, I was like, please, like, just, I was hoping he didn't have damage. I was basically hoping he would keep going. But uh, then I saw the safety car and I knew we were close to the pit window. So I was like, okay, everyone's going to pit now. But knowing we had a second stop to do, I thought, okay, let's just try and do it in the second stop. Um, for sure, Seb probably learned a little bit from the first stint. But uh, I think, again, we still had good pace at the end of the stint. I always saved a little bit more in the tyres. Then, uh, yeah, thanks to the guy on the track uh, that, that dictated the second safety car. So, unfortunately, didn't really create too much excitement at the front, you know, probably for opportunity uh, for, for me and, and maybe for the fans. But uh, that was, pardon me, that was that. And, uh, yeah, with the Prime, again, we were quite quick, but Seb was able to just hold probably a better pace with the Prime and not, not let me get close enough. Just talk us through the moment that you realised there was someone on track. How aware were you of that? Um, it was one of those things that was not till I sort of passed him, I realised, OK, that was a guy on the track. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't sure at first, but uh, yeah. So when I saw him, I was like, oh. And I saw him with his phone, I think, like videoing or taking some photos. So, I mean, I don't blame him. It's, it's great footage, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, obviously, I was pretty disappointed because that, again, was around the pit window. So. Uh, anyways, that was that, but uh, I, can't, I can't complain, you know, it's been a good weekend. Um, we thought this was our best chance of another podium this year. I'm glad we've taken that chance, uh, or taken that opportunity. So, um, yeah, again, I think two opportunities to get podiums this year. We've got them, Budapest and here. So, again, a bit like last year, I felt I maximised all the you know, possible wins and doing it again this year with at least the podiums.